with the boys on the uh, on the bus uh, somewhere south. Um, a little preview or cliffhanger thingy of uh, what's his name? Daniel. And I've actually forgotten his name already. Uh, the kid owning his uh, psychic natural skills, abilities, with uh, lifting the rock. So, last time I pressed continue, <coughs> which was um, just a minute ago because I wanted to test the recording and everything, I actually said, play through uh, the adventures of uh, Captain Awesome, or Captain Spirit, well, I play, play the, the prologue, which they released for free. Because you don't seem to have a save file, so I had to download it, and hopefully, when I press continue now, it won't give me that same prompt. Let's see. Yes, nice. All right, so it has detected the uh, the Captain Spirit, Captain Awesome, whatever time, save file. In a wild, wild world, <clears throat> there were two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa wolf. Although, to be fair, I've already they forgotten what, happily together, they, but what I did in that game. One day. It was fun though, I liked it. Took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. They started a journey. Through the great big forest. <clears throat> the wolf brothers wandered for days and nights. Learning how to live on their own. For the first time. They slept in the backwoods. Among creepy creatures. And barely ate anything. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. Hunters tried to tie them up, but the Wolf Brothers managed to escape with the help of a friendly bear. He showed them how to survive and helped them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the Big Brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further, headed to the faraway land of their pop, where they hope to find peace. Oh, that's the one. The awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. Right. Safe file import has succeeded. Right. Again. No clue how that ended or what choices I made in that one, but sure. All oh, right, and we have a dog now. for you a few days ago. He's an actual Jedi. Let's try to lift something else. Not too heavy though. I'm a little tired. I'm so glad Daniel took this little girl with us. I'm so glad Daniel took this little girl with us. What? You could try and lift mushroom? What? Are you stupid? <laughs> you wanna hurt her. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Not your usual shooting range, right? Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Let's leave the puppy out of this. 
Welcome to Telekinesis 101. Please don't kill your teacher. How about trying out that rock over there? Just one more time. Come on! No, it's too far. Stop trying to make fun of me. Just one more time. So close. I can feel it. Can you throw this rock in the river? Oh, yeah. Just watch. Splash. Okay. Let's show Daniel some more stuff to play with before we call it. Yeah. I mean, I don't need a recap because I've already been that long. <clears throat> What did that? Oh. Daniel is learning so fast. Dude, it's getting late and cold. Let's get done with this practice session. Is this one too big? Yeah. It's just way too massive. What to boot How this about one? That one. I can do it with the small rods, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. Focus. <sighs> I'll try. I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was the biggest rock ever. All right. Uh... How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure. Look. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. <laughs> Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? <laughs> Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. See if you can stop this in the air. <laughs> cool? Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You won't let me, right? Try it. <laughs> Aw, that sucked. Actually, I hit the guy, even though I <laughs> aimed away from him. Ready? <laughs> you did it. Yes! Look! Look what I can do, Sean! I knew that you could. I've taught you well. But you, you're a master student. <coughs> hey, that still sounds good. Nice. <laughs> you're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. Just a little beat. Well, you need to rest now, superhero. Come on. 
Can we go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. <sighs> that cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you. I'm fine. We've just been outside for a while. Here we go. It's cold water. The helitaker is over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz. Lazy Ranger. I told you not to bust out your power whenever. Sean, the water's fucking cold. <laughs> oh, I'm good. Uh, oops. Sorry. I said fucking. Yeah, dude. Watch it. Seriously. Okay. He's already starting to get an ego. <laughs> He's, the power is getting to his head. Like he'll be an even worse Magneto in the. Finding that house was a miracle. But I'm afraid we can't stay here much longer. Like an even uh, Sean, look. more powerful Magneto, I should say. So cool. What we found? What were we looking at? What? What did you find, Shroom? I am confusion. Oh, come on! Not again! We gotta leave these poor bunnies alone. Hey, it's been a while since we last saw that rabbit who lives in there. Yeah. I hope it wasn't eaten by a bear, or... worse. A family of rabbits lives out here. Just like us. What's worse than a bear in I, I don't know. Wolves? Oh, <laughs> don't worry. We're the only wolves around. <laughs> oh! I don't know if I could gut an animal anyway. Scary, uh, uh, you then in Hungary? Not really. Really? I'm. <laughs> Daniel's definition of a cool snowman. I like it. We really nailed it with his two-headed snow ogre. Yeah, they're really badass. And Musher isn't even afraid of them anymore. Right, puppy? Sorry, guys. We don't take any more guests. Oh! Almost forgot to check our traps today. Must have been a really sweet spot to get a tan in the summer. Fucking miracle we found this place three weeks ago. Daniel helps me slice wood by holding the logs with his power. Pretty useful. Too bad this wood is rotten. We had to cut some more to keep the house warm. How old are these kids today? What kind of dog were you, Sandy? <laughs> A cool stray mutt like our little mushroom? Perhaps, perchance. Runaway millennials and part-time forest squatters at your service. Oh. Yep. Now me tonight. Daniel's getting cold. Let's get inside. Buddy, just morning. run off here. To the. I went canoeing with Dad on Wenatchee River once. The water was freezing. Oops, I went canoeing with Dad on. Wenatchee River once. The water was freezing cold. But we had so much fun. I don't know where he ran off to then. Oh. Okay, I guess he was checking the traps. Daniel's not. Sean, what is wrong with my traps? I haven't caught anything. Wildlife one, Daniel zero. I guess. 
Yeah. Not my kind of weeds. Uh, I'm gonna sit on the couch. The family that lived here. What do you think oh. happened to them? They must have moved out. Maybe to another state. But they left all their stuff behind? I don't know, man. Maybe they live in Florida and only come here every ten years. Maybe they got tired of these woods. Well, I'm glad they left. This is our lair now. I just... I miss my friends. And my room. Sometimes. Yeah. Us. Cold. Don't worry. We'll make a fire. We're pros now. <coughs> Dude, that cough doesn't sound too good. Nah, uh, I'm okay. Just cold. You kicked ass today. Level up. I did. That was so cool. It's getting easier every day. Oh no, Sean. This is a haunted house. More like, uh-oh, it's time to go over the rules. I told you about showing off. I was just... Whatever. Dude, I know the rules. Let's find out. What's the first one? Mm, uh, mm. Hide your power. If you spin one plate in a diner, what happens? People will freak out. And when people freak, what do they do? They call, call the, the cops. cops. Exactly. The second rule is... Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> and the final rule? I know... Come on. Um... You can do it. Okay. Um... Avoid danger? Run from danger. This is the most important one. You know why? Uh, I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. Only as a total last resort. How will I know that? If there's any other way of helping, do that first. Maybe if I had used it before, Dad might still be here. Daniel, you didn't even know. That shit was out of your control. But look what happened to the policeman. Maybe this power is a curse. Or... Something. Hey, we have no clue what happened. And it's not your fault. <coughs> Don't worry, Mushroom. I'm okay. Good puppy. <sighs> she must be hungry. What about you? I'm always hungry. <laughs> and let's grub out. I'll make us some dinner. <laughs> yeah. Before she eats us. Mushroom clung to Daniel on the first nights, but now she loves her bed by the fire. Thank God kids used to spend vacations here. Daniel would have been mad without these. Daniel needs a doggo friend. 
Ready for today's training, puppy? <laughs> sit. Shroom, sit. Seriously, girl. Sit. Mushroom, sit, girl. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You just don't know how to talk to her. <sighs> I'll remember this, traitor. High school feels so far away now. <sighs> so glad we trade my stupid blanket for this. We scored with these clothes. Plus five street cred. Uh. Wish I had more than tobacco, to be honest. I thought we weren't smoking. Poor guy. I guess kids have to grow up anyway, right? Daniel must have been pissed that day. Don't blame him. I wish I helped Dad more with the house chores back then. There was a little bit left when we came. Pretty disgusting, but helps staying warm. Feels almost good to be cut off from everything. <sighs> no more peeing at night for Daniel. He got so scared. We're lucky he didn't blow up the house. Hey, I put some clean water in the bathroom so you can wash a little. It feels weird to loot other people's clothes, but we need the warmth. Once you get used to squatting, it's not so bad. Pro tip, always boil the water. Unless you want Daniel spraying nasty things on both ends. Hello, motel room soap. No way I can give any of these to Daniel. Too risky. This room is fucking cold, so we put everything we didn't need in it and keep it closed. This thing is strong as a rock. Gotta love one hit wonders. This thing has saved our ass. It's time to get warm. Yeah. Daniel doesn't need to see this. Oh yeah. Hank was really scared of Daniel. <sighs> what a piece of sh How can I feel bad for him? Wonder where Brody is now. <sighs> oh yeah. No internet. Dead for a week. But at least we got some news. Kinda reminds me of Dad's cheesy mm. posters. Nice fort, Daniel. All that Minecraft paid off. We. Here we go. Hold on, Mushroom. We're gonna build a fire. By the end of this game, uh, entire series, he'll probably be floating up in the air himself, you know. Hold on, Magneto. Dang, I am starving. Guess it's time to start cooking. Yum. Too bad I can't make a pizza fly to us. Shoot. I could start Poor doggy's out of water. Service. Um, so how do I... This hot dog man issue is kind of weird. Mmm. Tough choice. 
Better talk to Daniel after dinner. Hey, what are you cooking? Oh, I'm sorry. Here's your menu choices. Ravioli or ravioli? Okay, okay. <sighs> I'm so tired of eating the same shit. This again. I just want one slice of pizza. I hate it when I hear Daniel crying at night. I can't do shit. Um. Now what? Seriously. Can't believe how much Daniel's path doors have what? improved over the last I weeks. Before you were even born, Sean. This room is fucking cold, so we put everything we didn't need in it and keep it closed. Uh... How you doing, Mushroom? You're the best puppy in the world. <laughs> Dude, you'll be moving cars around in no time if you keep improving like that. Mm, you really did so? Well, that'd be a bad idea, but you sure are getting good at this. I wonder if there's anyone else like me. Mm, I think we'd know it by now. <coughs> Am I blind? This thing is strong. Look. Going through the entire house. Bossman. Yep. No more indoor training sessions. We never found the key to this door. I guess using the sliding door is oh. cool. Daniel needs to eat something after all that psychic crap. There was a little bit left when we came. Pretty disgusting, but helps staying warm. Coming through. Oh, that's a lot of ravioli. Nah, it's not ready yet. I'm a ravioli expert now. We're so lucky this thing is still working. Wouldn't have lasted long without heat. <laughs> hey, Shroom. You thirsty? <laughs> Good girl. Um, plates, I guess. Are there any plates? I don't know. Huh? I wonder how far it can go. Nah, it's not ready yet. I'm a ravioli expert now. Daniel needs a doggo friend. Uh. He's definitely a fast learner. <sighs> Maybe too fast. The guy who came here sure had time to kill. I need to discuss it. I you mean, so serious on this picture. Do that, right? I still can't believe oh. he's gone. I miss okay. him so much. It hurts, Sean. I know, Daniel. It's okay to think about him. I do it too. Okay. Thanks, Sean. We scored with these clothes. Plus five street cred. Kind of weird to use stranger stuff every day, but not like we have a choice. Oh, all right. Ready? 
Seems warm enough. Okay, dinner's ready. Finally. Getting sick of ravioli. This is real food. It's better than nothing. I'm just tired of the same thing. Do you want it, Mushroom? Bon appetit, Mushroom. Man, she loves this stuff. Shame that the voice actor didn't do a Sorry. thinking voice. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Hold on. I need to show you something. Um, okay. <laughs> what the fuck is that picture? That painting. I'll show him the map. Oh, I want that I in my house now. My books. It's a picture of a goose. Wait, what? What are we doing? Find the map. The map and. Mm. Nothing here. Daniel, what did you do with the map? Mm. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Where's the map that was with my stuff? Oh, this map. It's in my tent. Sorry, Sean. Okay, come on, doggy. Let's go, girl. Hey, man, can you call your dog? I don't exist. Mushroom, come here, girl. <sighs> what a great team. Time to play dad talk. I'll be the talker. Oh, that's... what the? <laughs> when did he show up? I don't know. Him? Uh, I just saw him now. Mother, f <sighs> Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. <laughs> that's pretty spooky. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Good job. <laughs> you almost shit your pants. Of course I did, man. Anyway. Okay, <clears throat> I think it's time for us to hit the road. You're not getting better. We're almost out of supplies. No. So please. I'm okay. <coughs> it's just a cough. Yeah, a bad cough that won't go away. <sighs> Trust me, Daniel. You need some medicine. Look. Here. Beaver Creek? What's that? That's where Beaver Karen's Creek? parents... Our grandparents live. Okay. So what? So we can go there and... They'll probably help us. Why do you always force us to run, Sean? What if they... Don't like me? They're family, right? Plus, they always for what Karen. <clears throat> for what Mom did. Um. You sure? It would be cool to spend Christmas with our grandparents. Man, they're gonna love you. Grandpa's super cool, and. I'm sure you guys will be best buds. Well. Okay. But Mushroom has to agree, too. She's part of the team. 
What do you say, girl? <laughs> okay, when? Tomorrow. The sooner the better. Right now. We have a long road ahead. Hmm. We should do something fun for our last night here. How about a team of dice? If I win, I get to draw on your backpack. You know I'm gonna win and draw a dick on your bag, right? <laughs> I don't think so, loser. Party time. <laughs> okay, this is the entertainment. ready to lose, Captain? Watch your butt, matey. This is not whining about an iPad or something. Oh, God, I should. Here we go. Just need a six, a five, and a four. Complete ship. You're going down, dude. <laughs> we'll see. I'm never a fan of mini games oh, in, in narrative based games. Yeah. More pirates. Hi. Just get it over with. <laughs> Better than nothing. High sure. score. How are you gonna beat that? <laughs> Good luck beating that, matey. Don't worry about that. Your turn, lover. You see this? Perfect throw. Yeah, yeah. Good job. I need the score now. Pretty please. Oh, is that it? Ooh, good throw. Oh. I guess you can skip that. Ah, oh, pretty good. My turn now. <laughs> Be ready to lose. Oh, sheesh. I need a ship. Give me a six. What the hell? <laughs> Didn't look suspicious at all. Okay, I've had enough. I give up. What? For real? Yep, you heard me. Yeah, okay. You want it. Here's my bag. Oh, I thought I was kind of. Mm, let's see. Saying that to him, like, stop playing. <laughs> what? Here, what do you think? <laughs> Is that mushroom? Yes. I know I'm not as good as you, but... Nah, it's... It's really cool, dude. Thanks. It's bedtime. Gotta get up early. I'm gonna finish my comic book. She has to pee. Okay, okay. I'll take her out for a walk. You're going to smoke. Gross. You're right. Don't smoke, but it's our last night, so we can do anything. Don't smoke. Do all right, all right. right. I heard you the first time, dude. Close the door. <laughs> Getting worried there. Man, he's actually gonna chill outside, huh? Wouldn't that just be like two or three drags and a <laughs> quick, quick drags and get back in? Logo's having fun. Whee!
come on now, there's nothing happening. So I guess when we do end up at our grandparents, that's where basically it's the house next to the Captain Spirit Kid, I assume. entire last scene there you could have caught by like 40 percent <laughs> just needs a bit of a bit more quick editing i find but that's just a personal preference hey daniel how are you doing it sucks i'm coming Mushroom wants to go out. Don't you hear? Yeah, sorry. Move. So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. Okay, no more swearing. Sure. Like you're always polite. Come on, chill out. What did you pack in? What the f- Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. We really need each other. Where's Mushroom? Still peeing, I guess? I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Right after this pee break.
<coughs> ah, excuse me. <clears throat> okay, all done. Where the hell is he? Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Daniel! <sighs> Where is he? We have a two-day walk ahead of us. Better get going. What the fuck happened here? Are the rabbits? Daniel? It exploded. Where are you? Oi. It's not good. Okay, so my mushroom. <laughs> Jesus. What? Oh, fuck. I wasn't expecting this game to just kill a dog that fast. I'm so sorry. It just wouldn't have changed anything to kill it. I'm right here. This <laughs> kid versus dad. I was a uh, little friend, and I'm sure this is a uh, I'm sure this is a choice that I made somehow. <laughs> that would suck. Poor Daniel. And now he's depressed. Now we're setting him on a path of darkness. And it's going to be like an, an Akira situation. He's going to, you know, go on a Here. killing spree. You should do it. This kid is constantly getting everyone killed. Only he didn't open the door and just went with the dog, you know. That's it. It's pointless. I can't even bury her. Well, unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember. 
running through the snow with you? And how you, you snuggled? And I'll never forget you. Never. Thank you, Mushroom, for looking after us in these woods. You won't be forgotten. If only you didn't Sean, feel the dog. Think she's up in heaven with Dad. If only you didn't steal the dog. Yeah. Then this would have never happened. I'm sure he will look after her. But you had to get your entertainment. You had to get your distraction. Wait. Daniel. What about his allergies? <sighs> Don't worry, Inanna. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. <sighs> okay. We should go. It's getting late. Okay.
I will say all of this this music is starting to blend together. It's like the same vibe. Very um gettable to yeah, I don't know. Like it serves the scene but doesn't really stick with you. Whereas the first Life is Strange game had a ton of like good music. Obviously because you know the setting allowed for it, you know, you're constantly around uh, <laughs> electronics basically. But, yeah. That's my two cents. I'm going away for a long time. Like, <laughs> and the same with these lyrics, even in the song itself, it's just repeating the same thing over and over again. We get it. Not very subtle. <sighs> we made it, Daniel. Done a really good job with the, all these uh, environments, huh? Since I was here, really nice. When was that? Before you were born. That's a depressing. Uh, uh, Christmas tree. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring the snowball in the house. I'm sure they watch the news. Don't want to look like total pigs. Press mouse button one. To proceed. Video games. <laughs> I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh my... Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time! What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth! Well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? <sighs> yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Nice acting, Daniel. <laughs> Laying it on thick. <laughs> when they, they open the door, start coughing yet. Yeah. Is it uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? He's a fugitive. Shit. I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. Oh, Stephen. Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? I, I don't know. It's good to be inside. Finally. I just feel so awkward to be here. Do we really want to involve other people? Officer was killed. Claire, you know. Our 
grandchildren are wanted by the police for murder. I know. What if Sean is guilty? <gasps> Sleeping in our home. Next to us. Let's, let's just ask him what happened. And we'll figure something out. Okay? All right, Stephen. Hey, you. You all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide. That is one now, angular... If you want us to oh. help you, <laughs> did you... Hurt that police officer in Seattle. Seriously? You really no. think I killed that cop? No, don't don't get mad, Sean. We have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. All I know is that he shot dead, and now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but why did you run away if you're innocent? It happened so fast. I saw the cop on the ground and my dad and, and I freaked out. Oh, I know, you poor thing. But that just made things worse for you and your brother. <sighs> You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. Uh, you, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? <sighs> Go down to Mexico. To Puerto Lobos. Mexico. Dad has a family house there. Sean, you can't run away from the law like, like fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are going to stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him, but you're still part of our family, and we want to prove it, okay? Seriously? No. Oh. That's really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess. No noise, or no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, <laughs> you're supposed to be resting, young man. Yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something.
how do you Fresh feel? clothes. Super wolf. Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um, and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh, everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay, it's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. Yes, ma'am. No roughhousing in here. <sighs> no worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And a bathroom. I hear that. <sighs> Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean, are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well, you know, I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate in. Maybe I'm uh, misremembering Life is Strange 1, but I feel like that was far more interactive. This feels a lot more uh, um, visual novel y. <laughs> That's uh, a way to phrase it. Wait. Does it hurt? Nah. It's kind of itchy, though. It's a lot more... Uh, and it's like, rusting. <laughs> Sorry. Choice here or there. Not a lot anyway, of going around the environments. Remember the rules, right? We really don't want to clear Stephen to start puzzle asking puzzle in there every now and then. I know, I know. Just letting you explore. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. That's what I liked Sleep about the tight. first game uh, a lot, is that uh, just having a little come. gameplay. You know, more traditional gameplay.
made it feel more like a point and click adventure game classic adventure game rather than an interactive movie but we'll see how this goes so far it's been a bit, been a bit slow going I could sleep all day long in this bed, but I'm way too hungry. Claire wanted to throw her clothes away, but we convinced her that with some sewing and cleaning, it would be enough. All right, I'm allowed to go out now. Wonder if Brody noticed his hula girl was missing. This this is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. Guess they're playing with the trains. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. Yep. Daniel knows how to milk grandma for toys. Weird toy? Good. He it's deserves to be spoiled. The satellite. Sean! Finally! Sean, are you awake? Breakfast's almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. <laughs> um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. There was something to work with? I don't Better hit the kitchen quick. <gasps> it's been locked ever since we got here. <gasps> it's the room. Don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's just... The toilet, <laughs> the, ba uh, the bathroom. 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 <laughs> I, I actually had a brain fart just now. Oh my god. The bathroom. <laughs> it's a bedroom and a bathroom in one. Oh, that's wallpaper, I guess. Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning. Oh, sorry. Daniel, <sighs> breakfast time. Yeah, I'm right Your here. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa showed me a box star. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the box car this later. This is a very nu nutritious meal of uh, waffles. I love how they're getting along. <laughs> Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> Oh, 
Ah, sugar. <sighs> he can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Waffles and eggs. Waffles and eggs. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great. As usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah. It's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. on back there nothing oh <laughs> I thought Stephen was a fast eater hey grandma I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs <sighs> I told you there is nothing to see in it Daniel why were you in it this morning then oh because there's a lot of old junk in there and Besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Are you serious right now? Did mom ever contact you? She only talked to dad a few times. Then she was gone. <sighs> yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. <laughs> Imagine coming up, oh, coming back with that response. Chill out. <laughs> You've given me a roof over your my head. You're, you're feeding me. I have to live by your rules. <laughs> There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Tanny will freak. Thank you. I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. Where was that picture of you guys on the beach from? We went to Hawaii when Steven retired, believe it or not. Oh, that's so cool. I could totally see you surfing. Did you love it? Well, it was too much paradise for me. I think Steven could have stayed. Dad said Puerto Lobos was 
Like a mini paradise. Of course he would. That I heard Claire oh. rehearse some songs. <laughs> She's got the groove. Of course he would. That doesn't mean you'll think that. We'll see. Jeez. I told him about leaving his toys around. Polygonal toys. I miss Dad and his silly <laughs> Santa Gringo accent. Sorry for getting upset, Sean. I, I just don't feel comfortable talking about it. Maybe Gringo it's, Santa. It's fine, really. Okay. We don't have to. So shut up and let me explore. <laughs> oh, this looks cool. Too bad it's broken. What happened to the ship? Oh, that thing. Stephen made it years ago, but it fell, and he doesn't know how to fix it. That's sad. Looks pretty cool anyway. Yeah. Well, it's life. Max and draw. What? He's letting him play with firecrackers again? Oh, for Christ's sake. What? Who? What the hell? Feeling of love? Passion princess? Ew. <laughs> Escape to pleasure. Uh, ew. Man. Does Claire read all these? Gross. Such a big fireplace. And not even needed. <sighs> That's luxury. Have you ever seen any actual fish in there? Never. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. Going out into the shed. Hmm. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just. Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. It happens all the time. So, listen, I've... Uh, Noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Uh-oh. Uh, not really. What things? Well, I, I'm not sure how to put it. Like, some kind of invisible force. I, the holy gift or something. Um, yeah. Daniel likes to pretend he's got superpowers, but that's it. That's it? Okay. But be careful, Sean. You know, he's still so young. Sure. I thought he was, like, speaking in metaphors, like... And by the way, let's <laughs> keep this between us. So he's actually already... Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She... Noticed it. ...wouldn't understand. You... you do? <laughs> what the fuck? And just wants both of you to be... Literally have Magneto in the house. ...happy. But he's cool with what it. What I'm trying to say is... Maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... We have a home in Puerto Lobos. Dad wanted to return there. Two Mexican boys out on the run? <sighs> that won't be a secret in Beaver Creek for long. America is your home. Merck. With us. And you have to think about your brother, you know, his future, all that stuff. It's too dangerous for us to stay here. And for you guys, too. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think 
Your father would have wanted this for his kids. Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire you said you had the keys for the tool shed. Torture yourself or you will think oh, about it? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. It's good to see you in my lair. You know, you were afraid to come in here as a kid. Really? Why? No idea. Uh, but you're oh. a big boy now. Impressive. You take a look around. I won't eat you. Cool. Walking and making grandpa noises at the same time. Man, who did this? Oh, he was our neighbor's son, Chris. Yeah, I, I helped him and his dad build that treehouse. Why are you holding a fire sword? I'm, I'm not sure. You know, that kid sure has an imagination. <laughs> uh, uh. Wow. Is that you? Oh, yeah, that was taken when I retired. The mayor came to congratulate me himself. That's awesome. Yeah, really great day. Ah, I wish you'd been here. So... <clears throat> oh, God. you found this. I, uh, I just forgot to, uh, it's okay. It's been a while since I've seen her face. Uh, yeah. I like taking a look at it from time to time. Doesn't it hurt? Yeah, it does. But she's still my daughter, you know? I can't approve what she's done, but I, I, I think I understand. Good. I don't. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, Jean. Please don't... Uh, uh, please don't say anything to Claire about this, okay? Don't worry. I won't. I won't say anything about it. Uh, well, God, I'm sorry, Sean. I know you guys miss your games and your websites, uh, but trust Perhaps. me, a, a break from all this can only do you good. You know, it's it's safer that way. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> How come you have a disco ball? Are you, like, throwing parties and stuff? <laughs> no, this is... Uh, a souvenir, you know? I actually met your grandma during a disco night, believe it or not. For real? Yeah. That's so cool. She was such a good dancer. We danced the hustle. And I, I knew I was going to marry that. <laughs> it's so Aww. weird. With the double noises. By the way, I have no idea what you're talking about. But it sounds so very cute. <laughs> well, I'd show what it is if only these hips allowed me to. But those hips don't lie. All right, see ya. Peace. Oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey, I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? I do don't you know how to work a washing machine? Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Amen. Daniel. <laughs> ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. 
Hey, Daniel. There's work for you. Uh, no. I'm uh, busy. Yes. Busy my ass. Come over here. You gotta find me first. <sighs> See you tonight, buddy. Oh, they're actually... Yep. <laughs> Just get it over with. Claire, Claire can drop pretty damn good. Guess it runs in the family. I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. Nice and do two two things at once. Laundry, tidying up, and finding a a brother. Huh? As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Gotcha. Hmm. Um, shouldn't I be... I guess I need to get my laundry first. Anything else to tidy up? Yeah. Pretty different from the one we had back at home. I get that he's sick of all this shit, but... Why are we playing this game? Make the bed. Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Pretty badass. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. I don't even know how Beaver Creek looks like. We're not allowed to get out. What oh, man. Beaver Creek looks like? I miss that dirty little dog so much more than I thought I would. Daniel is training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. Oh. Better not sneak in. They won't like it. Uh huh. I know you're in there. Gotcha. What the? Behind you. Yeah. Very funny. No more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. I don't wanna. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. Thanks, Sean. Wait, what? Just gonna... Not deal with oh, this chores? Man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? I used to hate brushing my teeth, just like Daniel. Now I can't get enough toothpaste. Saw some teeth in there a few nights ago. I wonder if it's Claire's or Steven's. All right, let's get it over with. Hey. Oh, 
All right. Time to take care of that laundry. <sighs> Thanks, Claire. Uh, where's the... Sean, quick! Look at this fish! I haven't seen any actual it's fish so in there beautiful. since we got here. What is he talking about then? Dude! Come on! What? I told you there's a fish in it! <laughs> Whoa! Look at all these decorations! That's so cool! Alright, you're weird buddy. How many programs does this thing have? Okay. It will do. It was easy. Boring laundry? Done. Time for fresh air. I'd be... thought I was... I thought I had to clean this up. <laughs> I guess not. Yes, not. Careful! Sean! Oh, shit! Got you. Seriously, man. <laughs> Chicken. Oh. Daniel, you ready? We can go out now. Yes! Wait for me! Oh, man, finally! Feels so good to be outside. Reminds me of the cabin. Right? Oh! That's where uh, oh, oh, oh. kid lives. <laughs> Watch out for the so that's the treehouse Stephen helped out with. Pretty awesome. Wouldn't trust that treehouse now. <laughs> Considering the rest of uh, his uh, uh, his project. I get why Dad never brought us down here. Why? So nice and chill. Why do you get it? Are you gonna finish the sentence? I guess not. Get ready for storage wars. What's wrong? Frozen shut. Of course. Sean, look! All right. We just got here. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything either. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Okay, I just fell down into the snow. Uh, Dad says I'm kind of clumsy. That's an awesome costume. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, Power Bear. Bear. <laughs> oh man. I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, oh God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Are, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. 
Ah, gotcha. Oh, well, if you like Sparrow Bear. Hey there. <laughs> Are you staying with the Reynolds? Oh, uh, yeah. They're our grandparents. Uh, I see. Oh, jeez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I, uh, yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh, if Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Sure. Uh, no problem. Cool. See you around, then. Thanks, guys. See you later? Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel, did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? Yes, because he would have been fine. <laughs> I know you only wanted to help. The kid. But it's too dangerous. And it's snow. <laughs> Both of us. <laughs> Whatever. Rules are boring. Yeah, but it'll be worse than boring if we get busted out here. Come on, Daniel. Steven already saw you using your powers. <laughs> Fine. I'll be careful. I'll never help anybody again. Exactly. Okay? Daniel. Remember that we're hiding out, so no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time, okay? Is that Megatron? <laughs> I joke, I joke. Oh, <sighs> fuck. That kid never listens. Okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericsons. Time to get into some trouble. Time to let things escalate. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Well, looks like I'm home alone. Well, you know, maybe I could use the phone while they're away. Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Maybe I could use Steven's laptop? It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. It's probably smart, right? Um, I could just delete my browser history after I'm done. Jeez. Steven went search crazy on us. These articles are almost a month old. What the hell is this? I had no idea Steven could fall for this bullshit conspiracy theories. Oh, 
Well, Brody, if we ever make it home, wherever that is, <laughs> you'll be much, much welcome. It's always a red flag. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yep. In um, the Dark Knight as well, I guess. I, I do feel like this is one of the actual writers of the game just projecting <laughs> activist on wheels, and that must be exhausting. This is the one of the writers' uh, fantasy books. <laughs> well, this article is much less creepy than it seemed back then. Not for that. Jeez. Okay. Stephen went search crazy on us. It's not bogging. Look at this. Okay. Let's get this brack back home now. Ew. Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. <sighs> and I thought Daniel was the crafty one. <sighs> Single dad family. <sighs> Way too close to home. That's a lot of beer. Daniel! What's going on here? Sean! What's going wait. on here, criminals? Come. Don't freak out! I can't explain! Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy. <laughs> but I have but special powers. I have a superpower. Yep. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things. Objects with my mind. Oh, a superpower. Really? Yes. Great. And you don't realize what that implies? Everyone can see you from the outside. You could get in real trouble. This is dangerous. Do you understand? Yes. We hear you. We promise to be careful. This is just our secret, okay? Nobody can find out I'm the real Captain Spirit. And nobody will. <sighs> Ever. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. <clears throat> oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally. I'm gonna be Super Wolf. What's your super name, Sean?
crazy uh, devil or something? I don't know. Something cool like El Diez Blo Loco. Mm, sounds like a super villain's name, but okay. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that nice Daniel and Chris you. are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah. They share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations! And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Um, okay, sure. I'll go with you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah! Cool. Yeah, I just wish Chris and Daniel were excited about going. Okay, team, uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spear's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. Careful. It may be tricky. Look closely. Else? Okay. How did I do? You're not a very good observer. Okay. Let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. Captain Spirit kinda took care of him. He might need a little surgery now. But they're all working for Mantroy, who is the real supervillain. You should see his evil planet. Why doesn't Captain Spirit stop him? He tried, but failed. That's why he needs Super Wolf. You know, Daniel, to prevent Mantroid from hurting other people. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. Yeah, about that. Um, does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell. Uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. <laughs> well, your dad is cool. He totally hooked you up with that treehouse. Yeah, he let Steven build it for me. It's my flying fortress. Oh, yeah. I saw that drawing you made of him. With that badass blazing sword. I made it to thank him for making the treehouse. Well, Captain Spirit had to help him, of course. Well, the flying fortress needs fixing now. Yeah, that sucks. Dad couldn't fix it yesterday. He was not feeling well. 
He told me he'll do it when we're back from the market. Um, Chris? It's none of my business, but... Did something happen between you and your dad yesterday? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know, um... Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Claire is always worried. We're cool. Totally. He's just... He has a hard time being on his own. That's all. Chris... I know life can get pretty tough. Trust me. But... You'll be okay. You're an awesome kid. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power. And I have Daniel. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. Thanks for clearing the snow from the porch. You're, you're awesome. You're welcome, Dad. <laughs> Sounds so natural. You're awesome. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> uh, can we do another take on that? Maybe? Perhaps? Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. I'm trying to choose, but it's happening. Uh... Yeah. Oh, there you go. I wish it would elaborate more. Because both could imply, you know. I, well, I can't even select the left one now. Weird. Listen, I understand, but we have to be extra careful out here. You can't let people see you. You know the rules. Yes, I know the rules. But I'm careful. I only do things when it's me and Chris. Nobody sees us. Yeah, nobody but me. What if it was Chris's dad? Or grandma? Or a cop? Or... Okay, okay. I get it. But I'm careful. That's not enough. You have to be extra, extra careful. All right. I swear I will. Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. 
But don't forget what I said. The kid. Wow. So many trees. Ugh. They look like giant cartoons. Creepy. Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree. <laughs> but we never surrendered. Mm. I bet Dad didn't know about this. <laughs> Sorry, man. I prefer my pine trees alive. You coming, Sean? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be around. <sighs> Jeez. Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. I'll tell you later. So, what do we do? We have to pick the one we like. Can Daniel help, Dad? Of course he can. Awesome. Come on, no time to lose. <sighs> okay, just pick the one you like and come get me. Deal? Deal. I've never been Ooh. on such a dangerous <laughs> mission. Yeah. <laughs> He's out. Our trees are just waiting to eat us. Really? We'll have to tame the one we want. Dear Santa, we've been good kids this year. Please explain this hot mess. Is that a yo-yo? Daniel had one back home. Betty loved this. What? This is so different from Seattle. Don't know if I can get used to it. Hi, everybody. We're taking a year off to run away from cops. Daniel has got telekinesis now. <sighs> Hope you're doing well. Be interested in that part of the game? Nope. Oh, man, it would have been so cool to have one of these before coming here. Drawing stuff. Claire and Steven definitely have a kink for Christmas. <laughs> Bet they like these. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Uh, the Reynolds? Everybody knows Stephen. He was Beaver Creek's fire chief years ago. Uh, you're not his grandson, are you? Yes, I am. Oh, that's great. He told me about you, but um, that was a long time ago. It's been a few years, right? Yeah. Family stuff. I bet. Anyway, uh, look around, and if you find anything you want, I'll give you the special Reynolds discount. Nice. Easy. But first I have to talk to this chick. It's me, it's me. Oh, you should get signed. To take my two. I have a feeling you're already signed. <laughs> Try Hardy. The guy who painted that. He must have been seriously high. Okay. Better find.
find a gift for Daniel quick. Hmm. Claire and Steven definitely have a king for Decorate your front door. Try Pet the light. Hi. This is a nice collection. <laughs> Why, thank you. I make them all myself. Whoa. Must be a lot of work. <laughs> definitely too much for the money they get me, yes. How come? Well, people certainly don't buy as much handmade Christmas decorations as they used to. The mall has ruined every single shop in town. Can't do anything about it, and people seem surprised unemployment is going through the roof. I know. It sucks. But we can't do anything about it. Right? I like to think there's always a solution, however frustrating that thought can be. Anyway, you've got better things to do than listening to an old lady ranting about capitalism, right? That's cool. Don't worry. Well, thanks for hearing me out anyway. You have a nice day. Oh, uh, <laughs> just Did worried. I shop yesterday? Hmm. Worried that the shields are teleported. It's all right. We, we're going to get a discount, right? You won't find better deals in Beaver Creek. Holy shit. <sighs> we only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Oh, well, got no money anyway, so. Hey. Can I have one of these beavers? The tiny ones. Yep. They're made by our beloved carpenter, Rose. And, of course, you get the friendly price to celebrate the Reynolds reunion. Oh, Don't say that, creepy. That's really cool. Thanks. They are waiting for you, Gordon. Greenberg. Here you go. Thanks. That's how I felt like it was going to go. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> no. I'm Earth good. Have a nice price. day then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Friendly reunion. <laughs> cool. Mission Let's get some uh, beer for... Uh, we better what's his name? Down. Chris? Oh. Before Claire and Steven come back. Oh, what happened to your guitar? <laughs> what the fuck are they doing? What? Ooh. It's nice to leave the house after being locked up the whole week. It's not much, but... <laughs> Here's three sets. She probably needs it more than <laughs> me right now. Get fucked. <laughs> I, I should have checked what I had. It's like a slap in the face. <laughs> Found what you were looking for, city boy? Um, yeah. Something for my little brother. I thought we were gonna get... You bought your brother something out here. Damn. Poor kid. I thought I was buying that for Sorry. Uh, my grandparents. I'm um, just a grumpy old gal. <laughs> Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. <sighs> now we are. Kinda. That sounds... complicated. Trauma? <sighs> yeah. Lots. Huh. Yeah, I hear that. Way too much. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kinda hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. A hot chili dog. <laughs> Whatever. Damn. That sounds kind of dangerous. <laughs> Gosh really. darn it. If you can run and jump, you're pretty much good to go. Well, unless you get caught or... Gee fall, golly. But we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation. Right on, sister. 
And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Humboldt County? Gosh, Not Tony. even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. Frederick. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. Your doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez, someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it, I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's <laughs> sake. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? Not very Christmassy of you. I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. <laughs> nah. That's not... Um, yep, nope, let's just get out. Better not get involved, man. This guy doesn't look nice. You're right. It's not even a question. <laughs> just leave. They're pretty. Yep, well, you're, you're getting a beaver. <laughs> so... Okay, where's the dude already in the car? <laughs> Are you waving your arms around like that? Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah, all done. Cool, <laughs> hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. We 
need to check that motor for a stuttering issue going there. Man, these episodes take forever. Ooh. like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Who? <sighs> Come on, don't play me. That cutie you were talking to by the market. Oh, yeah, that girl. She was cool. You're too quick! Ah, anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle, especially trying to be a good dad. You're doing your best. Chris is awesome. And he's got a wonderful imagination. Well, thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. <laughs> he's a storyteller. I see that. Just like Daniel. When I look at you and Daniel, <laughs> how close you two are, I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris deserves <laughs> a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up, okay? Forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs too. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. They're so nice, but... Yeah, they have their problems too. Uh, sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, Want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can beat Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. Do not do that now because when I'm back. <laughs> Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. Yeah. They won't know anything if we They're make it quick. Come back. It's just as soon as we open the door. I really want to know what's inside. We'll do what it kind later. of stuff she had. 
Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Yeah, I guess we're gonna do it. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. We'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? Where could it be? Hmm. I'm just gonna clean up real hmm. quick. Oh, I know. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. <sighs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? <sighs> Still super cute, though. <laughs> Love the outfits, guys. <sighs> Man, he looks so different. So young. <sighs> okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? I don't really see Steven listening to old school pop rock music. <sighs> we clearly don't share politics, but at least Steven doesn't preach. <laughs> I'm like this video game that I'm playing. Yeah. <laughs> Holy Not fuck. Jesus. Sean, hurry up. Unbelievable. Might come back any minute. Yes, Daniel. I know. Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Holy Bible. I what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church? Definitely not the one. Way too small. Oh, well, then why did I take it? Let's see what it opens. <laughs> How much more Irish can you be? Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I guess it kind of makes sense. Very smart to take a key. Whoa. Put it back. I'm just looking for a key. Not the crown jewels. Ew. Are these milk teeth? Not sure if it's gross or cute. But still. No key here. Sean, I saw Grandma go into the room yesterday. Shit. These are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel. Or he'd freak. Clothes. Old stuff. <sighs> Definitely no hidden key. We have to get into that room before they come back. I'm trying, I'm trying. I gotta find a way to open that door. Daniel, you really think you could open this door? Yep, it's empty. Uh, okay, Daniel. Uh, no, 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 no. Think no. hard. What was she wearing? Uh, jeez. Wait, what? I think it was that weird uh, sweater thing. Dude, you rock. <laughs> this whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. I am confusion. Clothes. 
Old stuff. <sighs> Seriously, what? Weird sweater thing. We can't go downstairs. And there's nothing in here. A key. Uh, what? Come on. Where is this card again? No way she wore it to church. <laughs> My dude, man. Hey, I think that's the card again Claire was wearing yesterday. It's a dirty laundry, Paul. Yes. Found one key, so it better fit. Just try it. Wow. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? This is the rest of her stuff. It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. It's like she almost never used those. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. You... Ulysses? Hey, Daniel. Check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... the hero? I guess. So cool. They looked happy. How could you send all of this to hell? These pictures are so... random. Is that an amethyst? <sighs> she was into New Age bullshit. <sighs> yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. Very poetic. <sighs> Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. <sighs> Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. Well, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. Well, oh. figures Karen was looking for an exit. <sighs> Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. <sighs> Yawn. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. <sighs> I don't recognize any of these games. Maybe she's in a different dimension. This playlist is boring as hell. So, you're a friend of my mommy's? I miss my music. I hope she took good care of you. I think it's not plugged. I think I saw a moon eclipse once. She went on trips? Before Daniel was... I miss my skateboard. And going to the park. <sighs> Never been a big fan of hiking. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. They won't forget anything related to Karen. Hmm. I can relate. These letters look pretty recent. All right. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. 
What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, there's Excuse me. Nikki. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly ransacking our house while we're at church? Claire, we're sorry, but we just wanted to... No one ever told you that everything you say before a butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But you didn't even tell us. Uh oh, calm down. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me. All of us. She is not welcome back. Oh, paper cut. It's been eight years. Maybe it's time to move on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, oh, that shows you don't respect us. Calm down, then calm you act down. like I'm the bad guy after what we've done for you. I knew something like this might happen. Maybe you two staying here wasn't such a good idea. Jeez. Man, I think I see why mom left yeah. me. Yeah. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what? What are you doing, Daniel? He's a witch. Drop it on his toe. <laughs> Oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? Now I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. I've seen those Marvel Where are movies. You, Daniel? Claire. 
Listen, they saved me, Claire. He's a mutant. That's all that matters. Maybe. It was a miracle. Mm. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, pizza delivery. It's, it's the sheriff. Steven? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Someone called us. We know they've been here. Damn. Should have been uh, Sean, what are we going to do? Go been, hide uh, in truthful. the garage. No. No. No way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me. Club, come on, sing. Jesus. We should have told him. It's not your power, buddy. But hey, he saved us, so I guess, you know. We get to go on our uh, cross American uh, uh, journey and uh, he goes to the hospital. Seems like a fair trade. Why? Why did Chris jump in front of that car, Sean? Why? He's okay, Enano. The car barely touched him. Yeah, it was a foul. You, you it, said it, it was a dive. <laughs> but because of you. I didn't do anything, and I could have. Hey, you don't know what could have happened, okay? What's done is done. <sighs> you just leave it alone and don't forget it sometimes. Didn't even let me Some check on him. Turn in something. What if he is. Dead? Whatever the lyrics were. <laughs> you could see the car slow down before, so. Chris will be fine. Trust me. You... You promise? Just like how you promise with Dad. Promise. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But I'm good with it. 
And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but... Daniel, you need to be careful. And listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See, Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plant. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look, I wanted to wait until then, but we kind of need a little cheer, so... Merry Christmas, Inanna. For me? Thanks, Sean. Hey. Listen. There's a ride. Come on. All aboard. Seems dangerous. My train is going way too fast. I should totally be an editor. <laughs> he just cut to black before that. Before the drums kick in. And then you roll credits, you don't show the to be continued. Oh well, yeah, another episode down. I don't think it was as long as the previous one. We'll see where it goes. Oh god, these credits take so long. But I'm um, curious about the uh, choices and what was actually considered a choice or not. Like uh, mushroom, for instance. We'll see how it goes. Man, I can't look at these credits, it's making me dizzy. <laughs>
All right. Uh, let's see. Do this snowball. Pro ah, okay. That's me. <laughs> Intervene and scare the cougar off. Oh, damn. You can actually kill the cougar. Huh? Right together with Clark Daniel. And it that you. All right, right, okay. So that's 50 50. So with friends, I was in the minority with that. Also, still. Help with chores, of course. Minded Daniel of the rules. Huh, okay. Seven pages of these this time around. Damn. Chris is trust. Didn't gain. Oh, weird. Nope. <laughs> nope. Was it? On several. Cops didn't chase you? How does that work then? Oh, it's probably because when you don't tell your name. And he just. Oh, good. This again. Daniel was not. Huh. Can sort of, I guess, get him to tidy his room. Because at a certain point you discuss it, and then he goes along. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Your preview, maybe? So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. Your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up! They don't! Come on. <laughs> I'll show you around. Alright, that's it for episode 2 of Life is Strange 2. Uh, see ya, bye.